The state of the oceans, in two words, not good. You know, when you live in paradise, you have certain expectations about what your beaches should be. A couple of years ago, when I heard that uh, Camilo Point, Camilo Beach, in the southeastern part of the Big Island was rated one of the five dirtiest beaches on the entire planet, believe me, it got my attention. So as I, as I, I'm the chair of the Senate Agriculture Environment Committee, I've chaired the Environment Committee for the last 10 years. And so one of the priorities, my, one of my top priorities is the reduction of single-use plastics. This last session, I introduced Senate Bill 522, which was, we nicknamed Zero Waste, the Zero Waste Bill. Did three things. Number one, by 2021, it said that no state agency or county agency could use or sell single-use plastic beverages, stirs, straws, polystyrene uh, foam containers, the whole thing. And then in 2022, it said, the, the second phase said that restaurants and food establishments could not use any of those, a ban. And then the third phase was that no plastic bags. We have already have a, a statewide, uh, through our counties, a ban on plastic checkout bags, but this would be a ban on all plastic bags. Passed through the Senate, it went to the House, they twiddled with it a little bit, uh, went to conference committee, and it was turned into a plastic source reduction study group. So uh, while I was disappointed, I'm hopeful that the study group will come up with some very good recommendations before our 2021 20, session starts. That was perfect. Yeah, I was just really stoked when I heard about the process of this, using satellite tracking, using this technology. I mean, not only is it saving money and time, the fact, the accuracy to find out where these you know, parcels of garbage are, is just, is just amazing. And what first came to my mind is, as this story gets out, as this story goes viral, that the rest of the world, that this will set an example of other countries saying, hey, you know, why don't we do this? We got a big patch out there. We should be doing the same thing. And then uh, I'm just really excited about this, what, what, what's occurred that, that uh, Ocean uh, Voyages Institute has taken this upon themselves and just the leadership of Mary Crowley and others. And it's just an amazing project. I'm very, very happy. I'm here tonight to honor uh, Ocean Voyages Institute and Mary Crowley, the captains of each of the ships, because of the wonderful work that they're doing to protect our oceans. It's just, we need organizations, leadership, to set the example for the rest of the world to follow. And so it's my hope that by uh, giving out this proclamation from our Hawaii State Senate, that this will catch on, others will look to uh, OVI as, as an example to follow. That's, that's the most important thing. We just want to recognize the, the awesome nature of what's, what's happened. But also as a policymaker, it's very important that this will be an inspiration for other policymakers, not just in the U.S., but around the world to follow. Because you can go out there and clean it up, but it's going to be there next year unless jurisdictions start passing good laws that limit the use of single-use plastic. And that's what we need to be doing.